Please be seated. Tenakoto, tenakoto, tenakoto katoa. Nami nui kia korua, uh, Rita, Rito and Kitty uh, for that beautiful karakia. I'm Tony Lynch, uh, DPMC Chief Executive, uh, and with the honour of being your MC for uh, this afternoon. So a very warm welcome uh, to you all. A special welcome uh, to our speakers for today's launch, Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Jacinda Ardern, uh, the Honourable Andrew Little, Lead Coordination Minister for the Government's response uh, to the Royal Commission report into the terrorist attacks uh, on the Christchurch mosques, and to our two co-directors of Hei Whenua Tarikura, uh, the National Centre of Research Excellence for Preventing and Countering Violent Extremism. And a very warm welcome uh, to you all today and delighted to have you all here with us, um, representatives from across our communities, uh, from our academic institutions, um, from many government agencies and statutory bodies, uh, and in particular, our scholarship recipients, um, and delighted to have you here. Um, you are the future of the National Centre. Um, with sadness uh, to say, um, we are, however, without one of our scholarship recipients, uh, Emma from the University of Otago, who passed away uh, this last month, um, and araha to Emma's family. For today's formalities, we'll hear from our four speakers, uh, and then this will be followed by a karakia and a waiata, and then we'll share some afternoon tea uh, together. So, honoured to start uh, with the Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Te whare i tūnei, te marae i tā koto ana, tēnā koroa, e ne mātei maha, haere, haere, haere. Nā tangira whenua o tēnei rohi, tēnā koutou. Tato na kanohi e hui mai ana, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Kia ora koutou katoa, assalamu alaikum, shalom, talofalava, and welcome to everyone who has joined us this afternoon for this incredibly important milestone. When New Zealand faced the most horrific of terrorist attacks on March 15, 2019, as a nation, we resolved to be better. That while our Muslim community faced that day the act of one individual, there was much that we collectively needed to change. And so we committed to do all we could to make New Zealand a safer, more diverse, and a more inclusive place. 10 days after the attack, the Royal Commission of Inquiry began a lengthy process and gave us 44 recommendations that we have agreed in principle to all of. Many have been delivered, and we are the better for them. Gun reform, new counter-terrorism law to make planning a terrorist attack a criminal offence, Ministry for Ethnic Communities to give voice where it lacked, to name just a few. But it's recommendation 14 for which we are here today. To establish a programme to fund independent New Zealand-specific research on the causes of and measures to prevent violent extremism and terrorism. But we've taken that recommendation a bit further. We wanted a permanent presence, a repository of sorts to ensure the work is embedded in our thinking, our conversation and our policy making. And today we launch a National Centre of Research Excellence for Preventing and Countering Violent Extremism, Hefenua Tarikura. And so to the people I want to acknowledge today, the two directors of the centre, for which I can formally announce, and which I'm sure is well known to those in the room, particularly the two directors. If this is a surprise, we have a problem. <laughs> Professors Joanna Kidman and Paul Spoonley. Professor Kidman, I know your work spans Indigenous sociology, Māori youth higher education, decolonisation studies and comparative education. I know how glad we are to have you on board. Professor Spoonley, many of us in this room have read your work on social cohesion and diversity, racism, the far right, 
white supremacism and anti-Semitism. And while both professors have a wealth of knowledge and experience, we do not expect you to take this work forward on your own. Together, you will lead the charge to bring together research organisations, civil society and government, hosting, for instance, an annual hui on countering terrorism and violent extremism. To help us to understand the New Zealand context with research on pathways to radicalisation, factors that drive violent extremism and what can reduce it, the role of language, disinformation and social media networks to influence individuals and communities, gender differences and radicalisation and utilising online platforms for prevention and disengagement opportunities. Grants and scholarships will fund the way as the government increased its investment in the centre in budget 2022. And I acknowledge Minister Little in the room for his advocacy around the work as we follow on from uh, the Royal Commission. I understand that several of our scholarship recipients are here today. It has been wonderful to read about the work you're about to embark upon. It includes women's experiences of faith-based extremist narratives in everyday life understanding key causes and drivers of violent extremism in New Zealand, the role of disinformation and conspiracy theories playing contemporary pathways to radicalisation, and an insight on how the securitisation of communities can be avoided and open engagement and partnership achieved. Can I ask those who may be our scholarship recipients to give out a bit of a wave? At a personal level, can I thank you for the work that you're about to embark on? I cannot tell you how important it is to New Zealand, but also to the world right now. And we agree. <laughs> <laughs> and as we continue this work and look to show from Aotearoa New Zealand leadership to what is a global challenge, it's helpful to know that New Zealand is not alone in addressing the challenges of violent extremism. We're not alone. But that doesn't mean that everyone else's answers are right for us. And that is why it's so important that we have a uniquely Aotearoa lens to the work that you are embarking upon. I've recently returned from the United States where I had several, in fact half of me thinks I'm still there. Um, I've had several opportunities to speak to our experience and the work we're doing collaboratively, including to the, on the Christchurch call, and Anjum, who I believe is in the room, I thank you for your ongoing role on that incredibly piece, important piece of work. It was a direct response to the attack of March 15, an example of how a global community can collectively make a tangible difference, even when there's more to do. I came away with two messages in the front of my mind around that work. Firstly, as I said, there is much more work for us to do, but there is also room for hope. We know what the problems we face are. We just need to work together to solve them. And that's where our scholars come in today. Our National Centre of Research Excellence is part of the legacy of March 15, not just to build a more secure nation, but to build one more empowered by knowledge, empathy, understanding and kindness, informed, most importantly, by research, evidence, and a drive to keep one another safe. I believe the work produced by the centre will help us to be a more resilient, inclusive, and safer Aotearoa New Zealand. I thank you for being part of that vision. Nōreira. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. I'd invite Minister Little to come and say his words. Uh, kia ora tātou katoa, uh, e ngā rangatira, e ngā manuhiri, uh, e ngā tangata, uh, no mai haere mai ki te kaupapa o te rā, he Tauri Kura, National uh, Centre of Research Excellence for Preventing uh, and uh, Countering Violent Extremism. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tautou katoa. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a great pleasure and an honour to be um, here at the launch of this very important initiative um, at this very important time. I acknowledge um, Deputy Mayor, uh, Prime Minister, and uh, 
obviously Tautoko everything the Prime Minister has said, because that's what responsible ministers do. <laughs> but um, can I acknowledge um, the co-directors of the, the centre, um, distinguished Professor Paul Spoonley and Professor Joanna Kidman, um, and the Prime Minister has outlined their um, academic uh, credentials, but I, I, I could not think of um, a combination of two academics uh, who are best placed to lead uh, this, or to establish actually this research centre. Um, so thank you both for um, stepping into that very important role. As I understand it, the nature of this um, research centre is going to be that uh, it'll, it'll, it'll sort of rotate through various tertiary institutions over time, um, and we would expect over time, of course, um, uh, others will have the opportunity to assist and direct it. Um, can I also acknowledge the scholarship recipients, and again, like the Prime Minister, looking through the uh, proposals that you've put up, um, uh, it is a fantastic array of uh, research that we can see coming forward. I want to acknowledge that one of the, the challenges of uh, that I think the Royal Commission of Inquiry set down for us, when you look at the underpinning theme of their report, and no doubt the way they conducted their inquiry, was to proceed on the basis that violent extremism, like racism, which we're well familiar with, those things that are the progenitor of terrorism and terrorist acts, start in our communities, start with people. And we haven't necessarily spent a lot of time exploring what it is, what are the threads and the strains um, that exist in our communities? What are the things that exist in our history that might drive um, people to think in certain ways, to adopt certain values that are certainly contrary to um, the sorts of social values that most of us have been brought up with? And, um, and what is it that would cause the sort of events that we see around the world and now tragically have seen here in Aotearoa, New Zealand? And so the research work that our scholars are going to be doing, them and the generations that will follow, is absolutely critical to us to understand as we begin to think about what do we do to achieve this vision of Hefenwa Taurikura, a land at peace. That, of course, was the vision of Te Tiriti Waitangi, and um, 182 years on, we're still on that journey. Um, uh, it took some very unfortunate and tragic uh, uh, paths on that as well. But we have a better understanding now, and we have a better understanding of humanity. We think back to the world after the last major conflagration that involved the whole world, World War II. And that what came out of that was the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Very important values. They are about, uh, for each of us around the world, our place in the world, our, 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 the nation that we are part of, the communities that we are part of, and our rights and freedoms. And the values that underpin that document are as essential and important today as they were at that time, as the world reflected on that great tragedy. But the world has changed the way we communicate, the way we get information. That has all changed. And we have a lot more sort of, you might say, unmoderated, unfiltered uh, information that comes at us through various channels. That's not a criticism of that development. It's life, it's the reality, it's the way that it is. But it does change the way communities operate, the way that people operate, where they get their information from. And um, that is going to be one of the challenges that we have. When I look at the, the work that the Royal Commission set us to do um, around a number of themes, and the Prime Minister has referred to the firearms regulation, and we've taken some steps on that. But work like social cohesion that our colleague, the Honourable Priyanka Radhakrishnan, is leading, um, uh, as she also takes responsibility for the new Ministry for Ethnic Communities. Um, that is long-term work, um, and that is about working with minority communities to make sure that their place and their time in Aotearoa, New Zealand, uh, is a time when they can say, of this land, this is their land. And when we think about um, the work on countering terrorism and violent extremism, um, we've talked a bit about that. And then there's the, the machinery stuff, the intelligence and security agencies, and how do we best um, ensure that they work in a context that is doing the job they are required to do, which is keeping us safe, um, but keeping us safe from emerging threats and so on as well. And so um, we continue um, to put together 
and fulfil the recommendations that the Royal Commission set for us there. So we still have plenty to do, plenty of work to do as we, as we continue to fulfil the recommendations of the Royal Commission. But for me, one of the critical elements that will help us to build our understanding, contribute to all those elements, particularly around social cohesion, particularly around the work that we do that government does on national security and intelligence, what this centre has the potential to do is going to be absolutely fundamental. So to those in the inaugural phases, um, good luck, you have our best wishes and our high expectations, and I know you'll meet those. To the scholars, good luck for your studies, and I look forward very much to the product of your labours and your intellectual work. Um, and to all of us, I know we will wish this centre great success in the many years ahead, uh, because it is so vital to where we are going and what we need to do as a nation. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tāte katoa. Thank you, Prime. Thank you, Prime Minister and, and Minister. I'm now delighted to invite the co-directors to say a few words. So I'll start with Professor Kidman and then Professor Spurling. Tēnei te mihi, tēnei te mihi, tēnei te mihi. Kia koutou ngā kaitiaki o tēnei whenua, he mihi nui uh, ngā iwi o te motu, ngā tangata o te opoko o te ika Māui. He mihi aroha, he mihi maioha tēnei. Kia koutou katoa. Um, thank you, Prime Minister and Minister Little. Thank you for being here today and for making this possible. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge those who are here representing your communities um, and those from government agencies. Uh, to the scholarship students who have joined us, I had some time with them this morning, they're incredible. Um, to my colleagues and friends from the university, uh, DPMC particularly, um, Andy George and Julia MacDonald, my co-director, um, distinguished professor Paul Spoonley, um, great to be working with him, and of course Vincent O'Malley. Mali, who is always my greatest support. Ngā mihi nui kia koutou. Kia ora. This is a really exciting initiative, um, but importantly, it's an initiative that delivers a message of hope. And that's because we live in uncertain times, and in many ways the future is both more predictable and less predictable than perhaps it's, it's ever been. So we need to find ways of living in uncertain times. As a nation, we witnessed the attack on the mosques in Christchurch in 2019, and we grieved with those for those who lost their lives and their loved ones. And in our own communities, we've seen the rise of groups that carry messages of hate and destruction. So these are troubled times. And that's where He Whenua Teirikura uh, will be making its contribution. We are going to produce an evidence base that will help us to understand and make sense of those hairline fractures in our communities that at times have splintered into violence and hatred. He Whenua Teirikura will bring together researchers with and from tribal society, civil society, academia, uh, government, and together we will create an evidence base um, about how we might prevent these terrible events from happening again. So to Māori communities, ethnic groups, members of the rainbow community, uh, those belonging to faith and religious groups, we acknowledge you and we will work with you to secure a safer future. The researchers and scholars who join us in this endeavour are going to be exploring some very dark places in the nation's psyche, but they will do that with integrity, fairness and courage. It's a huge task, there are no easy answers, but this is our message in a bottle moment. This is our message to the future, to let those who come after us know that we worked together for a society that's at peace with itself. I'm really looking forward to beginning that journey. Kia ora.
te pirimia me te minute little, tēnā korua, e nā mana nā waka e nā reo o nā mana whenua, tēnā koutou, e rangatirama e hoa mā, kia ora mai anō, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora tātou katoa. Talofa lava, salam malakum, shalom. The National Center of Research Excellence has been gifted with the title He Whenua Tarikura, a land or a country at peace. The tohu which you see here is the logo for the center and was designed by Ariki Collective and represents the overcoming of challenges and the striving to create a safe place for whanau to come together to speak and to address problems. We have our challenges. And those challenges have escalated in recent months and years. There has already been considerable investment to get to today, and I want to echo uh, Joanna's comments and thank uh, Andy George and Julia MacDonald of the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet for their contribution. But I also want to thank all of those who've contributed their views, their ideas to this process and have articulated their concerns and suggestions. Our task is to continue that work. In the 2021 government document which outlined the work program for countering terrorism and violent extremism, the task for He Whenua Taurukura was identified as building a shared and clear evidence-based understanding of the evolving challenge of violent extremism and terrorism and their underlying causes. That is our challenge. That is what we must do. The document goes on to suggest that there are four elements. Mohu or understanding. Mahitahi, working together. Whakahu taitai, prevention. And takutu, responding. Our immediate task is to add to the mohu that we have, or the understanding that we have at the moment, of violent extremism. But that understanding and an appropriate evidence base cannot be achieved without working with communities, the government and the research sector. So the task is incomplete without how best to respond or preferably how best to prevent violent extremism. One of our clear messages from He Whenua Tarikura Hui in Christchurch last year was that communities, especially those that were most impacted by vitriol and violence need to be involved in setting research priorities, in the research itself, and in being given the tools to identify and respond to extremism amongst its own members. Our hope is that our expertise and understanding will make a tangible and real world impact on the safety and well-being of communities of Aotearoa, and especially those targeted by extremism. There is also the threat that Minister Little referred to, which is the threat to our democratic systems and values. By its very definition, violent extreme, extremism seeks to undermine the very nature of liberal democracy. We have more than enough evidence to demonstrate at this point that there, there are those in this country who subscribe to political subcultures and ideologies that are deeply, deeply toxic. Further, and I'm sure that no one in this room needs to be convinced that the rise and rise of online vitriol and con conspiracies represents a significant threat to our political process and the safety of our communities. Kia mahi tahi tātou. Let's work together to achieve the challenges that have been identified for He Whenua Tarikura and to ensure that this country is one that is truly at peace. Kia ora tata katoa.
tēnā tātou, nō kū te hōnare tuku atu tēnei mea te karakia, haka tautoko ngā mihi ko a mihi ai tēnei rangi. Perhaps the karakia that's appropriate is the karakia about establishing a new place, a new space in the country. So, he tainui te tangata, he tainui te karakia. Tēnei te ioi, ioi. Tēnei te puna taurore u, rana ko te whare u, ena kui heere a ki reira, tehi, te wehi, te mana me te tapu. Ko te kihi kei rungi a hau ta whanatsu ana ki te pū, ki te wānanga ki ngā tauira, ka tū ko te tongi kura, ko te akinga i te iwi nui tonu. Tēnei te nini, tēnei te nāna, tēnei te hana te tupua, he kitia, hāpāinga, Ko te rangi e tū, ko te papa e takoto, ko tātau e eke nei i te whenua taurikura. Tomokia, raitia, hou, haramai te toki, haumi e hui e tai ki e. E mihia nai kia koe e te rangatira o tainui. So I'm just going to do a karakia to close us off on this formal protocols here. This karakia is, talks about balance. This karakia talks about the balance between ranginui and papa tuanuku, which in our world today, we're always trying to find the right balances amongst these, uh, these turbulent times that we are, we are living through at this moment. So I'll offer this as a prayer in closing. Okay. A tohua tupua nuku, tohua tupua rangi. A rangi a te anui, a papa a aroa, au piki, au heke, au tū, au rongo, rongo mara i roa e tā au, rongo tai tangata e rarau. Ko i arā e rongo whaka irihia ake, ki runga, ki runga, tūturu whaka maua ki a teina. Hui e tāe ki e. Namihinu, we've we've come to the end of our um, formalities. Um, so let's just a round of applause for everyone involved. Congratulations.